So this is a uh, May 29th, 2011 footage that I'm going to show you right here, and you can see already right here that you get the filtration from the clouds. So cam trailing is we've it's very wide well known. Uh, many people at uh, the websites that you can see me mentioned about is like Dutch Sands, uh, Stonely. Uh, go to YouTube and go to the internet and just search out cam trails. Okay, uh, but at the same time. The filtration, and you can see this video is having a hard time playing because anything you go to look up to look at the sun, the old footage that people have got where the idea that they pretty much proves that there is more than one sun. If you go there to try to capture the footage, which is basically a standard YouTube license, which is the idea that you can go ahead and take that footage and go ahead and do something with it. Uh, people want to promote their stuff. Uh, I always try to list who and where I've gotten some footage from if I go back in time. This is May 29th, I think the guy said on the recording of 2011. We're going to also look at some stuff of uh, 2010. Uh, this has been happening for a long time. Uh, the baby blue planet is 5,000K. Uh, maybe possibly a little bit less, but it's got a way better, a way higher temperature than us. So the idea that that's the when you, I'll show you a comment here in a minute from the idea that someone commented to my uh, channel view of the idea that how come it's baby it's blue because it's basically hot uh, it's a dying star uh, it's a baby planet uh, a dying star and that it is basically in an orbit and not uh, have the rotation that we have the magnetism with that we have of our moon and plus also it's beginning to believe that we know that we possibly have a second moon which is Orcus which idea that if you watch the last couple of videos it'll explain if you look up Orcus on Wikipedia you'll be able to find out the idea that they don't list it as our second moon they say it is a planet object the idea that it probably is because it's like uh, three times the size of the moon so the idea that if this would play you'd probably end up seeing a filtration of more than one sun. So we'll go ahead and go to some footage that basically shows you more than one sun coming up. Be a guy, I think, of 2010, you're going to get this footage. And once again, you'll probably see some breakup problems of trying to record this. So basically, this footage earlier this year, he zoomed in 400%, and he got the two suns. Actually, probably three. Basically, it's the supergiants. Okay, so we'll just keep on seeing this footage is going pretty fast, playing pretty decent through his deal and this is a standard YouTube license so the idea that he wants us or has no legal problems with us showing it and sharing it and there's the the baby or object in front of the sun that's the like, same thing if you go down and see my videos of the idea and there's more objects out there uh, the sun is in the supergiants and we get closer to the sun all the time we're not at the all-time recorded high I, of I mean basically all-time recorded shortness of going to the sun so basically, you see the chemtrailing here. These are chemtrail lines that are going up through that a lot of people know a lot about. Uh, a lot of people get on the internet and talk about and show. So the idea they are chemtrailing to cover up what we know that's there, which is nothing to be scared of. It's just freaking objects in space. So let's go to some more footage. Because as you see, as I get into it, okay, here we go. And then let's see if I can scoot him ahead a little bit here and try to find out little bit what they got going on and the idea that some of the clouds have filtered us and been able to allow us to see the baby kachina and other objects as I you can see up there and there you go some more let this guy's play for a second standard license here too people go oh, big deal red sky we've seen that before okay whatever but the idea you haven't seen objects like this around the sun before. Okay. And as IE again, once we start showing you, be able to show you some Nibiru shots, internal control of internet feeds tries to disturb. Oh, we just know that all the Java players screw up like this all the time, correct? Wrong. Okay, here's some good footage here. Well, there's some good sky footage. You got the moon, I believe, there. That's not a sun flare. These are not sun flares either. 
This is what we're seeing up by the sun. And these are not sun flares either. And you'll get people to say that they're sun flares, but they're not sun flares. And I you can go to my videos of the guy over down in Arizona putting a welding mask in front of it, making sure that it, and these aren't. These are not a photographic flares either. These are all objects that are up there. The sun is in the supergiants. And you can watch my panties off the sun in the supergiants, one and two, to see the Hertz sprung catalog astronomy. Uh, they're showing you where the sun is in the supergiants. So. An explanation here too, folks, is the idea that it's at different heights and different angles wherever you catch it on Earth. Okay, so the idea that these are different times, different regions of the world that you get internet. Also, the idea that you have other planets that get there. That's not the baby blue Kachina, but the idea that it either it's a supergiant sun you'd have to get an idea of knowing when the idea that this here it's not a flare of camera flare and everybody thinks well, okay that's camera flare no it's not there is actually suns back there behind the sun that are that humongous there is 74 times the size of our sun behind the sun Okay, so people are actually photographing and getting these objects, okay? And they're like, it's not camera flare. And they are correct. It's not camera flare. There's actually a sun, if I can get this here to stop for a second, but the idea that there is a sun way bigger than even this behind our sun down here, which basically this is probably uh, regular B anyway. Rigel. This is probably Rigel. B. Can't Rigel Cantaris B. Sorry about saying Regulus. But uh Regulus is part of the supergiants, I think, if I'm not wrong. And then the idea that there's here's some more of the objects from the supergiants <coughs> and possibly of common element going around and coming by too. Might have been also caught part of this. But the idea that these V's and stuff in space are all related and look a lot alike. I. e. like races of us on Earth. Okay, of different this and that. Okay, so the idea there is a sun up there that this big, and also if I let this play in a second, you're going to see another big, and it's not photo flare. It's basically the suns way back in the supergiants behind. And let me pause this. This there's actually a sun this humongous back there because it's 74 times, and this is not even the one that's 74 times the size of the sun. Okay. So people are catching this stuff on photographs, and it's bleeding through, and basically it's going to end up being totally common knowledge to just every walk of life on the face of the earth that the supergiants are out there. There's way more than 100 suns in the supergiants, almost 200, but there's 100 that are as bright or brighter and bigger than our sun that we know of. That has been our center of our Milky Way galaxy, our Milky Way galaxy sun our sun is in the supergiants behind Rigel Cantaris B. It's closer to us now and is the size of 77%, 77% of the size of our normal sun of the Milky Way. And our sun of the Milky Way is in the supergiants. And these other materials that you are going to end up seeing, it's not, and yes, I don't need any religious people giving me crap, because I do, I do believe. But at the same time, I am scientific minded to the idea that we do not know until we go. And I don't want to, I am in no hurry to go. Okay? So the idea that our religious friends, and yes, this is not a solar flare. It's the idea that this is the sun behind one, I mean, it is one of our suns behind the sun. So we have way more than one sun. At least 100 that are bigger, four times bigger than the sun. And up to 74 times the size of the sun in the supergiants. So, people are catching these photographs and the idea that they are amazed because they can't believe what they're seeing, but it's the truth. 
i.e. there you go again, i.e. there's another one up there. Yes, up to 74 times the size of the sun. So you ain't seen nothing yet, okay? And we see these Vs that they catch in the sky. We see them when you look at Soho shots. You can go to all my videos and other people that are at Dutch Sense and at other channels that are on the internet. And, and they're not UFOs, folks. These are objects in space. If there's anything that's out there, there's going to be some earth-shattering stuff that I'm going to put on the net in the future. You can go to the Dirty Truth Exposed on some of my videos that I've got and be able to see uh, what I'm talking about on, on that and the idea that the rads that we know that we have now, i.e. you can go ahead and watch recently right here. Okay, rad CPM and the Indian Infinite. So the idea that even beyond space and what we have here on the ground, as the politicians and money all do their big stir because the idea that they know that there's crap going down in space and that people are going to freak out looking at it and seeing what they see in the sky and chemtrails that we end up seeing and knowing. Search chemtrails on the internet, folks. I'm not filling anybody full of anything on chemtrails. We have been uh, chemtrailing and manipulating the weather for way over 30 to 40 years. Okay. And if you don't believe that, go to Dutch Sense dot com and ask some people and they'll send you some good sites okay so let me show you the idea that one of my videos is the idea that it will be an intro to with the earth shattering information that i'll give you in the future that the idea if there's no martians out there the idea if there's anything out there in space it's human or mammal in origin and it's right here from earth or was from somewhere else and came here to earth and dropped our asses off a long time ago i.e let me take you to one of my videos so i will go down to my videos and basically you'll see what's at new and wire the recent at Nehemiah Station, panties off the sun of the supergiants 2 and 1, panties off the sun of the supergiants main sequence, to show you that the sun is in the supergiants main sequence, and then we'll tell you about RAS, and you can go to my, you'll watch those videos, you'll learn how to go to my pirate site, my pirate site is also listed on the left hand side of my YouTube channel, uh, all this information here shows you the baby sun star, rival Cantaris B, and everything out in front of our sun, and you'll see that at the super giants panties off the super giants you will know and learn scientifically that the idea that there is a sun 77 percent the size of our sun in front of our sun right now here with us on earth you watch all my videos they are all data scientific pictures the idea there is no hocus pocus focus magical crap alan and caught on space lab footage we were watching all the close objects come by you can go to my video, The Truth Exposed, and the idea that you'll get the idea that more than likely that there is mammal, something, somewhere, either that or it's all dead and we're the only thing left here on Earth. But we have been places. You go to The Truth Exposed and you watch my video there and you will see signs on planets that the idea that they, NASA has covered up on photos that they show you. You go to my channels and you'll see where the idea that the clouds were showing you the baby blue planet a long time ago. CPMs, we're getting solar flares. Electrical power has went down. Amazing Grace, Clear and Beauty, Ellen and the Bureau USA. Amazing Clear and Beauty, first Ellen and the Bureau USA. There has been 6,000 more people going to see first common Ellen and infant positive. The, tr the trap, the, the truth about probably the eye of raw and stuff like that. Theories. But there's also fact data and pictures to show you. And also my first video that I ever threw out shows you that the super giants main sequence is what was blowing up in the soho footage and it wasn't jupiter blowing up and jupiter has had those flares before when it, something enters its gas state or protection layer and also the idea that we can debunk the idea that the nasa scientists saying that the idea that nothing ever hits the sun we've seen comets hit the sun we've seen footage so go to all my videos and check stuff out and let me see if I can put something in the last 30 seconds to finish this video out. Here's going to be some examples again real fast. We have this footage here. Date and the time on this footage here. And there's also my footage of the V and the imprint that it gives us down here on Earth of the Vs up in space, folks. The idea you need to go check that video out of mine. Uh, this is the, from the Hawaii shots, and that's another thing I need to research. And I need to go back to some of the old sites that I've been at to see what we get kind of action we're getting down there in Hawaii, and see if we're still getting those feeds. 
and also I'll take a look at Palau, Antarctic again, and see what we got there and any other kind of footage that we can find out. Legal disclosure in other videos.